during the Navadip Dham, the place we arrived, this place is called Champahati. Previously, this place was the marketplace of Champak flowers. As you know that the Champak flowers are the golden flowers which are very dear for Radha and Krishna. So, while doing the Parikrama of Navadip Dham with Jiva Goswami, Sri Nityananda Prabhu came here. That time he met the younger brother of Sri Gadadhar Pandit, his name was Vaninath. Sri Vaninath Acharya was serving the deity of Sri Gaur Gadadhar here. You can see in the temple the beautiful deity of Gaur Gadadhar. As we know that our Upasa Panchak is Gaur Gadadhar, Sri Radha Krishna and Sri Gurudev. So, worship of Gaur Gadadhar is also very important for us. Second thing is, here Sri Jaydev Goswami is to decide. This particular area of Bengal was ruled by one king called Lakshman Sen. Lakshman Sen one time heard the Dashavatara Stotra composed by Sri Jaydev Goswami. And hearing the Dashavatara Stotra, the glorification of ten incarnations, he became ecstatic. He asked, who has composed this Stotra? Then they told it is composed by Jaydev Goswami. King, he came dressed like an ordinary Vaishnava. He forsook, he forsook his uh, royal attire, gave up all the ornaments, put on white dhoti, and <clears throat> he took on Uttariya and he came here humbly and bowed down to Jaydev Goswami. And then Jaydev Goswami recognized that this is the king and he refused to associate with the king. And he told that I don't want to associate with the king because the kings are sense, sense gratifiers. I want to stay far away from them. But later on, Lakshman Sen insisted to Jaydev Goswami and told that I will come to see you only when you desire. I will not force my will upon you. I want to hire our Hori Association. Then finally, Jaydev Goswami allowed him and he told him, I only address you as sense gratifier just to test your tolerance. But rather I know you are a great devotee of Lord Krishna. So in this way, Jaydev Goswami used to serve Radha Madhav deity in the association of Padmavati. So in the king, in the king Lakshman Sen's court, there were many, many different poets were there and Jaydev Goswami has mentioned this in his Gita Govinda Vacha Pallavati Umapati Dara Sandarva Shadyam Gira Janite Jaydeva Sharana Shlakyo Durha Drute Shranga Rottara Sat Prame Rachana Acharya Govardhani Svardhi Kopina Vishruta Shadyadaro Dohi Kavi Shmapati that there is Dohi Kavi then there is Sharan Kavi and Umapati Dara there are different poets were there Govardhan Acharya was also there but all of them had some limitations but actually, the purest poetry and the purest devotional sentiments were expressed by Sri Jaydev Goswami. So this is the place of Sri Jaydev Goswami. Later on, one day Jaydev Goswami was, had the vision of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared to him, Ajana Rambita Hojo Kanaka Vadhato Sankirta Nega Pitaro Kavala Etaksho Vishwambaro Dijavaro Yuga Dharma Palo Vande Jagat Priyagaro Karnavataro. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared to Jaydev Goswami and to Padmavati Devi. They had vision of the Golden Lord. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very beautiful. His bodily complexion was like millions of molten, um, million times more effulgent than molten gold. And moreover, his bodily uh, fragrance was defeating even the fragrance of the Parijat flower. And he was more attractive than billions and billions of cupids. So in the court, Dharpanava Deha Varna Gauravam Padma Parijata Ganda Vanditanga Sauravam Oti Kamam Murchitangri Rupa Rasarangaram Prema Dhamma Deva Meva Naomi Gaura Sundaram. Then Gauranga Mahaprabhu told Sri Jaita Goswami that actually I am very much pleased by your devotional service and therefore I have given you darshan. This is my eternal abode. This Champati is most dear place for me and you are doing bhajan here. I will also come later on and I will perform pastimes with all my Panchatattva and I will chant the names of Krishna. Later on at the age of 24, giving up my 16 year old beautiful wife, Vishnu Priya, I will go to Sri Jagannath Puri Dham and in Jagannath Puri Dham I will stay in Radhakan Mat in Gambira and there I will relish the poetry composed by you, especially the sentiments of Radhika towards Krishna which you will be mentioning in Gita Govinda. I will be singing that Govind, Gita Govinda and Sri Sarup Damodar, um, Raya Raman and Shiki Mati will nourish my moods of separation of Radhika and I will, I will test the mood of Madan Mohan and all the moods of separation and meeting of Radha and Krishna. So in this way Jaydev Goswami, this is the place of Sri Jaydev Goswami and previously this place had abundant trees of Champak but later on these trees disappeared. And there were so many trees of Champak here that uh, <coughs> different people they used to collect the Champak flowers and they used to sell them. Therefore this place is called Champahati. Hata means the marketplace and Champak, Champa means the Champak flowers. 
but now these trees have disappeared and this is also the place where Champaklata Sakhi used to come and collect the, collect the flowers of Champak for the service of Sri Radha Govinda. So we offered millions of obeisances to this place, offered millions of obeisances at the lotus feet of Sri Jaitya Goswami, Sri Vaninath Acharya, Sri Gadadhar, Sri Gaur, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and also at the lotus feet of the saintly king, Sri Lakshman Sen. Vanchakalpataru Vishri Krupa Sindh Bhaja Paritana and Bhavanita Vaishnava Guru.